Deputy for Selectman. Is there a nomination? Mark? I am uh, pleased to nominate my friend and colleague Kathleen Richards. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Fred. Um, are you ready for the vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. But I'm going to text her and say, since she's not here, she was ineligible. <laughs> <laughs> the next is uh, another order of business that we do uh, traditionally every time we're reelected or elected. It's approval of the rules of procedure for the Board of Selectmen's meetings. And you may be familiar because you've seen this previously. But I would need a motion to approve this after you take a look at the rules. There have been no changes. There's there? been no changes. No. The only thing that I do sometimes is executive session is typically, if it's not needed at the beginning of the meeting, we put it at the end of the meeting. And you can see we have it as number 1 and 14, depending on um, whether there's a matter that needs to be addressed before a vote or after the session. There's also information here on a request for funds, ordinances, agenda, or proposal by any town agency, department head or commission. Um, items that the Board of Selectmen want to put on the agenda, any items on an agenda by the members of the public, as well as suspension of the rules and public input. And you can see that these um, rules have not been changed. I guess they were changed in 11-26-2012. We must have made a minor change. So it was changed last year? I only know because that's what it says at the end there, Ryan. Oh, I see. There may have been a minor change that was made. I don't remember us changing this.
fact, I wonder, Ryan, if that should be 2011. I'm going to check on that. Mm -hmm. Which is when the last um, set would have been prepared. Mm -hmm. Was the question approval of the rules of procedures for the board yeah. of selectmen meetings? Yeah, but what was the question? Then? Um, if there had been changes made 11 26 2012, and I uh, think that was 2011, I'm going to double check on that. I think that might be a mistake because that's the last time we would have looked at these. Yeah, that's why yeah, I'll yeah. check on that, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Motion to approve. So moved. Ryan, is there a second? Second. Fred, any changes, errors, or omissions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. The next um, is a listing of the liaisons to town boards and commissions, Board of Education, Building Code, Board of Appeals, um, Housing Code, Inland Wetlands, and so forth. Some of you have um, then liaisons to some of these boards and commissions. Kathy is for Economic Development. I'm the Emergency Management Advisory Board, as well as the Housing Authority, Public Safety Telecommunications. I go to that meeting every month. And the Senior Citizens Advisory Board. Uh, Carl, I know, goes to the Water and Sewer Commission, as does Brian on occasion. And Kathy's um, on occasion attends the Library Board. And Fred is Parks and Recreation. If you'd like to look at this and uh, let me know if you would like to change, we'll be happy to do that. And if you know this evening, I would also uh, record How many that. people can be on? As many as you'd like. Could I join the uh, Economic Development Commission? That would be very good. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. We wouldn't want more than four because then it would be a quorum, so oh, okay. no more than three is what I would recommend. Anybody else? And as I said, you can let us know and we'll add your name to the list as uh, we proceed over the next two years. <coughs> the next item is public comment. And I know that Mr. Cabral is here to speak to us. Welcome. Hi, good evening. I'm Spencer Cabral from Rose Hill Road. And my issue that I'd like to discuss, and it really just open for discussion, is the increase in speeding in Portland. Um, I live on Rose Hill Road right down the street from where the accident was uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, this has been, speeding has been a significant issue for the last couple of years, especially with the increase in development in the south east uh, area of the, of, the, of the city, of the town. Um, there's a lot of people that walk. There's a large park there. We can hardly get out of our driveway most mornings because of the speeding. But now it's also a larger and a, a greater issue because it's not just our area of town, but it's Route 66, and it's also Main Street. Main Street's very difficult to not speed because usually there's a car behind you trying to get in front of you. Um, and 66 on the weekends, especially when people are going back and forth um, in the mornings and <coughs> also going to Lake Pogety Pog in that area, speeding has increased significantly. What I'd like to do is just open it up from the, for discussion to see what can be done to reduce the speeding in these areas. It's very dangerous where we live, extremely dangerous. The four people that died a couple of weeks ago, <coughs> my fear is that is just the first set of people that will die in that area. It's, I don't know if anybody else lives in that area, but to see it is scary. Um, how people will walk and have to jump on the, cor uh, on the side because a car is flying by. Where we live is the old Rose Hill school, Schoolhouse. It's right going up and uh, right near the, where, where the hill goes down. You can't see cars coming up, and they're coming up fast, or they're going down fast. So my, I'd like to, to ask you know, um, what can be done, and maybe start a discussion as to what can be done. I think you're right, but I think speeding has become an issue universally. I notice that. When I go to work on, on Route 9 in the morning, traffic flows at 80 miles an hour. Absolutely. 
it flows at 80 miles an hour. And, and if you're doing less than that, you're... You're going to get run over. Yeah. <laughs> my, my concern is, and I totally agree, because the work I do, I go all over the country. <clears throat> I work from here all the way to South Dakota. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. My concern is Portland, Connecticut. Sure. What can we sure. do here? You know, I think there are different problems in different part, parts of town and probably different ways to control it. But I know you were going to look into whether we could borrow a, that sign. Did we right. get We anywhere? did, and the sign that we had been borrowing, this is the digital readout. Right. Uh, as people go by, it will tell you how fast you're going. We were told that the DOT's machine that is on a trailer is not available it's broken and they don't have it for rent or for mm -hmm. lease or for it was no money for us to but use. the other the other things that could be done and again I've seen them throughout the country is the use of rumble strips signage mm -hmm. slowing down of traffic I mean uh, Rose Hill Road should not be 25 to 30 miles an hour around the corner around the turn it just should not because it's just too fast and the volume of traffic is too too heavy now 20 years ago, the speed was correct because we didn't have the volume of people coming back and forth. That speed is no longer correct for that area. So there are ways of doing it that are, have minimal cost to them but have a, an effect on the slowing down of traffic. Maybe we could put this on an agenda as a future mm -hmm. agenda item. Mm -hmm. I am attending, um, the state does have workshops and next December, or this December 4th, there is a for local traffic authorities and they are having a session on speeding mm. uh, so perhaps they'll have some additional ideas that night we have a board of selectmen's meeting um, the 4th of December and I'll share with you what I learned there it will perhaps have an impact on cost I mean if you're going to do changes to roads if you're going to sure. add signage if you're going to increase enforcement there's a cost to that um, and it's <clears throat> well worth it if it's something that we think will work, will save lives, and will improve the livability of our neighborhoods. I know that many, many neighborhoods complain about the speeding. And on occasion, when they call me, we do send the police out and they, they run radar for a period of time. And they try to revisit. But um, they can't, and they're not there as much as I'd like them to be. I, mean, I don't think we have the more. resources with the police, with the number of officers that we have. We don't have the resources necessary to do, an to do the job, job that's Spencer, effective. I think you're right. Okay. That's why I think you need to use other methods that are self-policing. That would be a 24-7 method right. versus relying on a small police force. What I'd like to see is, I don't know, I mean, I know I don't know what the costs are, but I know a lot of towns, um, <coughs> they have permanent speedometers, that, you know, that tell you how fast mm -hmm. you're going. Mm -hmm. And if we really are passionate about this, I mean, it's something, I think it's a cultural change is what we really need. Um, and uh, I know that when you see one of those, I don't care where you see, I know there's one in Glastonbury by the river, you know, in the middle of nowhere, there's a school, I've heard yes. the elementary school. Yeah. And um, Old Maid's Lane. Yeah, Old Maid's Lane. And there's one there. And uh, you just know that they're, they care, you know, that people are passionate. And it's, uh, and so, I don't know, maybe something as simple as that would, if you put one on Main Street, maybe it would instill slower driving all the way to Rose Hill. Who knows? But, I mean, it, it might be something to look mm -hmm. into. Absolutely. Some states actually have cameras attached to them and they take pictures and issue tickets. I don't think we should do that. <laughs> no, I agree, but you can take that to the extreme. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah I'm not you know, in favor you, of it either. I, I think that is, actually I don't argue with that point, but I think it's extreme right now. I, I think using too. smaller measures and increasing mm -hmm. them if they're not effective and evaluating what you're doing will, will, will bring us to where we need to go. I think there'd be a huge resentment if you, you know, you, you you, you strong arm immediately. I wasn't. I'm not. I'm not arguing that. I wasn't that. proposing that. Right. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm saying I'm not arguing with that fact. You know, Jeff, yeah. can we get that? And I'm I want to make it clear that <laughs> I'm not I think you know, that. you know, uh, smaller methods and, <laughs> and, and and cost isn't a, is a, an issue. 
that you know if we have to we put rumble strips in the costs are very inexpensive especially in terms of the lives that could possibly be saved or signage is relatively inexpensive mm -hmm. compared to the lives that are possibly saved I, I, I think too it's worth it's certainly worth uh, exploring uh, the, the some, some uh, unique options uh, the bridge is a concern too uh, clearly with any kind of catastrophic accident on a bridge would be catastrophic to the communities as well as the well, there have been several yeah, there have been several in it and uh, over the and years. that um, the speed limit there is always uh, is never observed either and it's sometimes way way over what it should be um, so I'm yeah I look forward to I think that discussion will be healthy and, and I'll, I'll put it on the agenda yeah. for the fourth right. um, and uh, we'll it'll be interesting to see what yes. you learn at that yep. program I have also been in touch with our state representative uh, Christy Carpino and they her office called me today and said that if we wanted to have a study of speeds on state roads, we can contact the Department of Traffic Safety, I believe it is, within the Department of Transportation. Um, you can also ask them to take a look at the signage that's on the state roads. And it, sometimes these signs get old, they're not as reflective as they had been, and there may be some missing. So that's another step we can request from the state roads. The town roads, it's the same thing. Sometimes signs get old or they are not seen anymore even though they're still there. You can put up new signs or change them and be diligent that they're reflective and that they're the best that they can be based on what we have. So that's, those are some things that I know that um, should be done. Uh, perhaps our um, our state representative and senator could explore the possibility of getting some some grant aid for for the uh, we did ask for that the sign, as well for the signs yeah yep Ron Millardo and I spoke with uh, Christy and she also spoke with uh, state police too mm -hmm. so we have a call into um, the lieutenant from the state troopers and he was also going to be speaking with me because we have a mixture of course of state roads right. highways really as well as the local roads um, and safety is never never uh, too much energy spent on it I would say okay thank you thank you thank for you. taking thank time you. out and coming in to speak with us any other public comment tonight you guys picked a good night to come yeah it's a good meeting do you have any questions for the selectmen I know that sometimes students come and they have questions on the reports <laughs> that they have to ask Thank you for coming. Is there a motion to adjourn? I had well, it's one other thing. Oh, Fred had one other thing. If, if I could step out of the selectman's hat and just yes. into the public. Sure. Public, public comment? Public comment. Sure. No, I would just like to, um, if the board agrees, uh, to offer our uh, congratulations to the uh, girls' soccer team for uh, their successful endeavors. They, uh, <coughs> they this, last year, as I recall, they were. Uh, it's second. Uh, this year they tied for first with Old Saybrook, and I just like to have the board, our minutes reflect the board's uh, congratulations to the Absolutely. girls' soccer team. Can we do a proclamation? For yeah, them? we will do that, and I'll be in touch with the athletic director and coach at the high school and see when the team can uh, send representatives to us or vice versa. I know when the um, one of the teams, one I think it was the basketball team, <coughs> they had a special dinner for them at the high school, and the selectmen who were available did attend. And there were many uh, congratulations that occurred that night. So nice congratulations to your school. Thank you, Fred. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Fred, second. I'll second. second. Mark? Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Do you guys want to stay? <laughs> Meeting ends. Thank you everyone for coming out Thank tonight. You. See you again soon. How are you?